is a top tip when you're fishing and you're on your own go as light as you can as you can see i've just got a little rack sack there i've got my filming camera and all that little net and if you can't go light load a mate up that is your top tip load them up with all the excess gear that you don't want to carry load them up you right there but where's the lake it's about half a mile that way but it's about two miles on foot if you can fly it'd be half a mile right then let's go and get a couple of rods out right then tubers as you can see i'm now set up that don't half look sexual that rod the top half as you can see is white with an orange tip lovely little bait runner type affair going on i've got the tip cocked as you can see i've gone for a very simple setup at the other end i've gone for a helicopter style rig so i've got a just a half ounce lead to a three quarters of an ounce lead at the end of the line with a simple 10 inch rig with a few maggots on. I'd normally use uh, an inline feeder or something like that, but I don't want to put loads and loads of bait out. It's still quite early in the season. I've just put a couple of handfuls of my ground bait out just into a spot here, probably about a metre squared. Chuck some maggots over the top of it. Now sitting back, waiting for that first bite. And I'll tell you what, it's a lovely looking rod. I'm sat a bit further back. I normally like to sit beside the rod so I can strike it, but I don't think the bites are gonna be that fast today. But all bites will be welcomed. Bert, on the other hand, is gone full commando style with uh, bite alarms, these new rods. We can have a look at one of those rods as well in a minute. Yeah, I've got, I have got a full size net there. I just wanna keep it old and classic for the video as much as I can. The carp don't come much bigger than that net in this pond. So anyway, let's sit back and enjoy. Got a bit of action there. Been very quiet on my old John Wilson rod. Looking forward to that going off. What's your bobbins doing? Up down, up down, up down. Yeah, you've got stuff going for your lines there. He's going to eat it. There's nothing there, tubers. There's nothing there. A man far too excited. I'm not going to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you bulls that up. <laughs> I'm telling you, you've lost it. Uh, Still in, all good. Well done. Oh, little whippersnapper. Looks a bit tip happy, these on. <laughs> Pulling you on, do you clutch up? Yeah. You're happy now, you've christened your new rod. That little four-pound hook link I've got on there. Oh dear. I suppose you want my little my little trout there. There you go. <laughs> Net cam tubers. <laughs> In the net. Right then, Bert. Dinky little common, mate. Dinky little common. Welcome all the same. That's it. A fish is better than no fish, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> Come on then, it's gonna make you famous on YouTube, mini carp. Look at that. Right, traditionally you need to hold the carp out as far forward as possible. That's it, get your, back, get your neck back, that's it. 30 pounds. Yeah. Right, we're gonna slip that little, uh, that massive collar back. Right. And Bert's at it again. I'll tell you what, tubers. I'm going to be a bit of a pain because I'm sulking because I've not had my first one yet. You get the net yourself, Bert. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I'll lend you my tip, the net. <laughs> net cam. <laughs> Back here fishing with the relaxation of uh, the rod tip not doing diddly. I have lost one though, tubers, admittedly, have I not, Bert? Yeah. It was a nice fish. Not the way that the fish is being at the minute. The fish is fishing it. That's it. Uh, it's not really the right net for the job, tubers, but it's a bit of a giggle, isn't it? You might see the bivvy back there. That is purely if it rains. There he is. There we go. Nicely. Yeah, for a dinker. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good thing, huh? Amy boys, he's at it again. Hey, you've got that rod in the water here. <laughs> he must be about two minutes max since he landed and dealt with that fish. He's into another. Nice little Witchwood stalker rod. Nine foot, quite tip action, eh? Bend halfway to the top. Lovely rods. Oh, old pit's great. Oh, you don't hang, tangle up again. No, go. No neck cam this time. Do you know how to condition him? I know how to condition him, right? I've seen jaws, alright? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> We've had a little knock. Oh, look at that. It was a little knock. But, a blank, I am not. Different species you are. Lovely little perch. Perch, yeah. Oh, he swallowed the hook deep. I'll have to go and get the disgorger. And he's in again, boys. I'll tell you what, the real winner today is going to be the first to catch a mirror. Another common. Another common. He's long, doesn't he? Yeah. There is plenty of mirrors in here, but compared to the amount of commons, they are rarer. They don't stay still, do they? No. Right. Right. Never do that, tubers. Carp below the knees. He <laughs> hasn't done the others like that, though. Look at that, and away he goes. Torpedo. Let's have a look at the rig you're using then in a second, Bert. Bert's got just a helicopter style setup. Well, no, he hasn't. He's got a sliding, free running rig. He's just. Is that hair rig bit of butt? Hair rig with a meat screw on it to clamp the bread round. Uh, meat screw. Meat screw. Meat, meat screw. There we go. And you've had a bit of sweet corn on it from time to time, yeah, hasn't you? Yeah, just a bit of colour. Yeah. Bit of colour. You've been dinking it out just in the margin, just here, boys. I'll show you and he's doing all right. He's been doing all right. Oh, straight in the tree that time. Did it go in? It bounced off and in. Yeah. Oh, the, ch the jammy kid. There's no closer to a tree than it, Nick. <laughs> no, that's right. Right then, tubers. Right then, tubers. Always the same, isn't it? The other cameraman disappears when it's your turn. So you're not going to see a picture of my uh, fighting the hard battle I had. But uh, one second. He's a... Uh... Here we go. It's a massive... He's a two-hander. But I'll struggle with the one. Look at that. Lovely little... I was going to say Wylands perch. It's a lovely little Wylands common, that. He's probably only a couple of years old. Let's slip him back. And away he goes. Right, boys, he's at it again. Look at this. That rod's been out only a couple. Is that just on plain maggots again? Yeah. Been what, a minute? Well, well probably about minute. two or three. Right, another common. Another common. I'll tell you what, tubers, I'm going to poach that spot in a minute. I am miserable. He's had about five or six now. We might not have got them all on camera or. Showing you more, but he's done all right, the jammy so and so. I was expecting to beat him up on this water. You wait till summer. It's the first time I'll have you. It's the first time I've caught with this complex, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this size. No, 
I'm gonna have to go with this net because I'm tangled in the other net. <laughs> I've landed your fish, Bert. Thank you very much. Oh, I think I looked at it. Quick release. We're slipping back. And that is how you go fishing. <laughs> right then, guys, as you can see, I've just nicked. He's right, he was just doing some rubbish down here. And I heard it pizzles off. Oh, All right, that's handy. So I had it. But anyway, I've not only poached one off his rod, I'll put my rod over there now. Hopefully, sitting in for a nice uh, bang around and get into a carpool of my own, officially. Right, tubers, I can't even poach him out of his spot. Look, and he still catches them. Ah. Just a golden touch today. Blimey O'Reilly. I've got my bait no different to where he was. Nothing. You card. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> you missed him. He's done all right. I think he's going to go across my line though. Coming in the middle there. He's in the middle. You got that in there. Look at that. On Jordan's bread bomb. Is he in trouble fishing three rods so close to Gurkha? Yeah, but give me the rod. Got it. Just enough room for that dear old net. Boy, he's making a right meal of it. <laughs> oh, and he's got his other line. Right then guys, it might not look it from the footage right now, but it's starting to get quite dark here. You know, we've probably got 20 minutes of reasonable light left. We're going to stick it out a little bit longer, but what have I learnt from today's session? Well, I suck. <laughs> I've, I've moved over to the prime spot and I've had one fish out and I've turned the whole corner cold. That's just fishing though sometimes. But perseverance... Well, I've looked over to the spot I was baiting it, it's bubbling and perhaps, ooh, his alarm might go off and I'm closer. You know what that means, don't you, tubers? Oh, nick a rod. But anyway, that, that's fishing sometimes. I've tried various different bits and pieces. I've had maggots out, I've had a bit of corn on there once. I've had, um, what else did I try? Maggots, corn. Tried uh, various different spots around the lake, just hasn't, wasn't happening for me, but that's okay. I've enjoyed getting out from her again. I mean, I mean, enjoyed me, uh, <coughs> me privileged trip away. And uh, well, there we go. Hopefully, we do. I'll do better next time. Of course, Bertie boy over there, golden rods today. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, till next time. Tea bag from me. <laughs> no tea bag. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, we're going with that. Till next time, tubers. Tubers, look at this. Last knockings. He's only gone and done it. Oh, he's not in a snag, is he? No, he was trying it. Look at that for an ending, tubers. I don't know if you can see this. What about your business? Come on. Tubers want to see this. I was just fishing just what the end of my fingertip was. It's been uh, some nice bubbles. There you go, see a bit of action a bit further along. Oh yeah, we're gonna be filming this. Look at this. And nothing was in the net. Oh no. Don't forget to watch one of our other fishing adventures and hit that subscribe button. This one of the best outfits. It is, you can't, you can't write that stuff. We only well, need mine to catch him a fish, don't we? Yeah. The outro, though, we do it different here. Yeah. And another TA fishing <laughs> Well, they are good videos, then. 
Look at that. In the net. Well done, Bertie boy. Was that just on maggots or the uh, bread uh, bomb? Bread. bread. Oh, that was the other bait I was using tubers, of course. Bread. Bread, sweet corn and maggots I've tried. And... Oh, well, that's fishing. <laughs> Last oh, Jeepers, I've been rewarded for my patience. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Parker. It's in. Oh, I'm dead chuffed with that. And the last knockings. Got one. Well, I say I've got one. I've had three on this trip. One of which was on Bert's rod. So I'd really <laughs> appreciate that one.